Dumb, huh? that generates more phone calls than any other on WCTR, Gardening with Maurice. Have you heard the number one gardening show in San Andreas? If not, here's what you're missing. Well, why don't you just go buy your vegetables at the grocery store then, you sick offense? God, I just don't understand people. You go to hell. Well, screw you too, Mom. See if you're ever on the show again. Next call. Carl Johnson, CJ. Oh, shit. Come on over here, son. Move over. Let him sit down, asshole. So you finally found time to drop by. Man, I've been busy. I've been burying my moms, man. Sounds like a fucking excuse to me. Officer Pulaski thinks you're trying to screw with us, Carl. Now you get this straight. We own you, you're ours. We can shit on you from such a height, you'll think God himself has crapped on you. You understand? He better fucking understand. Yeah, he better have. Time to go to work, CJ, and earn your freedom. There's a guy holed up across town. You got that address, Pulaski? Another gang banging, drug pushing, cop killing bitch just like you. We don't like him. And he don't like us. Now you make sure he never leaves the neighborhood. Not even in a box. Now get the fuck out of here. I just finished doing a bala in jail. <laughs> Seven. 
You enjoying yourself? There? You okay? Yeah, but those flames! They're too hot! I'm scared! Hold on, it's probably a fire extinguisher in the kitchen. I'll be right back. Stand back! Put it out! Put it out! Oh God, I'm so scared! Oh my God, what was that? Hey, the building's starting to collapse. We gotta get out of here fast. I can feel the floor giving way! I got it. Stand back, I got it. Hey man, I owe you my life. I was nearly dead there for sure. Hey, you look pretty shook up, girl. You want me to take you home? Yeah, please, thanks. Your fingerprints ain't nothing without the.
Where you live? Just off Grove Street. No shit. What you doing in Vargo too? I like to live dangerously. You CJ, right? Yeah, how you know me? Everybody in the Grove knows you and your brother. But I thought you'd run away. I never ran away, okay? I just needed to get away from shit. my place here. Hey, what's your name? Denise. Denise Robinson. Give me a call sometime. We should go out or something. Yeah, I'd like that. Okay, I'll catch you later, CJ. Up, sweet? We got a problem. Some punk ass base ass fool has been slanging to his Grove brothers. What? Who? Check this out. He's been buying shit over in Glen Park. He know the hood is talking and he's hiding out with his new ball of friends. Shit, man. How we gonna get to him? It's time for you to announce your return, CJ. You fuck up Glen Park and that turncoat bitch ass nigga's gonna lose nerve and make a break for it. Okay, I'm gonna come pick you up. Hell no. This is your gig, CJ. You need some stripes. Get over to Army Nation and get a heater. Ah! Ah! Carl! Damn! Where you off to? Shit! Where you running off to, Carl? I thought we were friends. Yeah, whatever. As an officer in charge of putting an end to gang violence, I find myself in a difficult moral position, Carl. Yeah, right. Carl, I'm hurt. I truly am. And just as I was about to help those poor Grove Street boys. Oh, yeah? How? I like the status quo, Carl. I like having all you bastards doing my job for me, blowing each other's guts all over the side. Dumb bastards. Now, if it's brought to my attention that one tribe gets an unfair advantage over another, that truly troubles me, Carl. So what you saying, man? I'm saying the ballers have brains, Carl. They watch the news. I'm saying they're making friends, cutting deals, and tooling up for more than half-ass drive-bys. Lots of cheap guns coming into America since the fall of the wall, Carl. Man, cut that bullshit, Tim Penny. Just say what you mean, man. Go check out a busy freight warehouse down the Docklands, and you'll see what I mean, Carl. Yeah, okay. Y'all take care now. For sure. I like Didier Sacks. Just that's for everyone, baby. Why with shallow heroes who I don't know personally? God. Don't make this any nastier, lady. Yeah, if they don't win, men will be beating their wives with good reason. Hey, they got to start playing to win, trying to score some on the other team. I wish I had a wife so she could beat me. <laughs> Here's what I say, man. If you want to be number one, you got to go for first place. I know, I know. Hey, I mean, uh, you know, it's great stating the obvious, but once you get paid for it, things get really complicated. Man, I was at their training camp this spring, and the mood in the locker room was good. Guys were getting changed, man. I mean, they were really getting scared. Shoes were going on feet. 
shirts were going on, the shirt part of their body, serious faces on them, and you could tell that they were going to play this game. Bottom line is, if they don't score more points than the other team, they can't win! Yeah, man. God, you have some spooky insights into sports, dude. I love your show, man. I, I love you. <coughs> Uh, yeah, look, great talking to you. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Hey, that's really perceptive stuff. You know, we've been petitioning stadiums to install a urinal trough in front of each row of seats. Now, it's oh, so no. inconvenient having to leave your seat, make everyone stand up. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, to, to let you by, then go stand in line for the bathroom. I mean, half the time you can barely walk anyway, all right? So we'll be handing out petitions that say support the team. Don't leave the game at your seat. Go into the phones! I'll be fine, man. Love a bit of a punch, huh? Since my wife and children are taking in the shelter, my friend said, Chuck, you obviously love hitting things. So I've gotten in the box. How about that fight between Gonzalez and Jackson? Well, now there's one thing about boxing I always remember. You know, one man wins, the other goes home and loses. Because in boxing, unlike. Blow that piece of shit! <laughs> Ain't that a surprise, I gotta go. Very kind of you. You want to get shut up, huh? I take that paper. Need this no more. Yo, get that chico. That's cool. Enjoying yourself? Give me that. Bitch! Stop! Hey, let's go! You do business! Now fuck you, Amerikanski! I'm gone! Doing business in America is dangerous!
sound. 